Transparency, accountability, and justice have always been a priority of the PPPC administration. Since assuming office in 2020, government has displayed unwavering dedication to creating, strengthening, and maintaining a legislative system that upholds the rule of law and fosters democracy. The National Assembly passed a number of bills throughout the year. Some of the bills passed this year are Higher Purchase, National Registration, Representation of the People Amendment, Constitution Reform Commission, Industrial Hemp, Intoxicating Liquor Licensing Amendment, Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Amendment, Suicide Prevention, Restorative Justice, Bail, Condominium, and Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Control Amendment Bill. The Higher Purchase Bill promotes equal protection for consumers and sellers from exploitation. It enjoys broad support of major stakeholder groups and I'm confident that it will significantly improve the commercial environment by providing sorely needed protection for both buyers and sellers on the Higher Purchase Arrangements. The National Registration Bill and the Representation of the People Amendment Bill were both monumental to promote free, fair and transparent elections. Presenting both bills, Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nanlao said the two bills are important pieces of legislation as they seek to prevent a recurrence of the disastrous events that followed the 2020 regional and general elections. This bill and the one that will immediately succeed it are two of the most important pieces of legislation that we will be discussing perhaps in the next few years as they seek to enhance, modernize, and reform the democratic polity and architecture of our country, and in particular, to make our electoral machinery, our registration process of citizens, and the compilation of the list of electors more transparent, more, ac more accountable, and more effective. Fixed periods for voter registration, regular removal of deceased persons from the official list of electors, and cyclical issuance of national identification cards are among the significant amendments to the National Registration Act, NRA. The Representation of the People Act provides for an adequate number of polling stations to accommodate the electorate and divides Regions 3, 4, and 6 into sub-districts. The highly anticipated Constitution Reform Commission Bill of 2022 provides for the establishment of a 20-member Constitution Reform Commission, which will be tasked with considering and evaluating submissions for the changes to the Constitution. This fundamental document, Mr. Speaker, in an evolving society governed by democratic principles and tradition necessarily requires constant review to ensure that as our society evolves, as the aspirations of our people change, as our country transforms, that that sacred pact between the state and the citizen reflects those transformation and reflects those changes. Access to adequate legal service is another chief concern of the administration. To this end, a number of courts were this year commissioned in several obscure areas to ensure that citizens across the country are empowered with access to legal aid. In April, a $37.8 million magistrate's court was commissioned in Kwakwani to ensure access to the most modern facilities in the most rural areas. The Attorney General said the judiciary is the fundamental pillar on which a modern democratic society stands. It is the justice system and the rule of law that protects life itself, that protects our ability to speak, to move, to celebrate and to do so many things that we take for granted. Moreover, in September, a $24 million magistrate's court was recommissioned in Maibikuri, Blackbush, Polder. The Maibikuri magistrate's court boasts a number of modern amenities, including wheelchair ramps, dressing rooms for lawyers and judges, a small library, ergonomic furniture, and a briefing room. 
if you have no rights, if your freedoms are not protected, then life becomes a waste of time. And it is this institution, the rule of law, the administration of justice, that protects your freedom, that protects your liberties, that protects your properties, that protects life itself. In keeping with government's transformative and expansive agenda, Guyana's justice and legislative system continue to undergo a series of reformations to uphold the rule of law.